Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. And I definitely hope you guys are ready to worship God today in Children's Church. I'm so sad that we can't be together to worship God, but I hope through these little short videos, you are still able to learn much about our great God. Now, today's lesson takes place in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, in fact. Now, Genesis is a book of beginnings, like... In the beginning, God created the heavens and the... Yes, you, you get the deal. And it's also a book of first, like the first man, first woman, first animals, and the first clothes. Really? Yeah, but we're not talking about shirts and pants and fancy dresses. The first clothes were made out of animal skin. Why? Well, see, Adam and Eve... As we discussed last week on our Easter lesson, sinned in the Garden of Eden. So because of their sin, they suddenly knew what sin was. They knew their bodies could do wrong things and that their minds could think evil thoughts. So they realized they needed clothes to wear to cover their bodies. Now, that may seem weird, but remember, before they sinned, they lived in a perfect world, a world without sin. They knew only good. But sin changed everything. So, they tried to make their own clothes. But they had a problem. They lived in a garden. There were no stores around to get materials. So they used the only things they could find. Leaves. Wait, what? Hold up. They tried making clothes out of leaves? Yes, they tried sewing leaves together. But the result was far from perfect. And be sure to remember that. Everything they tried fell short of perfection. So, they made their clothes out of leaves. Now, what do you think they would call these clothes? Leafy clothes? Lulu leaf? Under tree? Green threads? Point is, they were basically wearing a tree. But they still had a problem. The leaves wouldn't last. The leaves would eventually dry up and crumble or tear and fall off and all their work would fall short. Because of sin, the world was no longer perfect and their clothes were not perfect and there was nothing they could do to fix it. They were powerless to fix their clothes problem and they were powerless to fix their sin problem and they knew God had declared consequences for sin. Now, God could have left Adam and Eve in their sin, uncovered, hopeless, and alone, but God chose to rescue Adam and Eve just as God chose to save mankind from sin through Jesus Christ. Genesis 3.21 says, Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make coats of skins and clothe them. Coats of skin? That means an animal was sacrificed in order to cover Adam and Eve. And that's how the first clothes were created. Wait, is that it? We just learned how clothes were first made? That's the part of the Bible we're learning about? That's it for children's church? Well, no, 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 of course not. See, this little part of the Bible, even though it may be short and it may seem insignificant, is a great picture of God's grace. Everything about the first clothes shows us how gracious our God is. It shows that we can do nothing to save ourselves. Only Christ can save us. See, because of their sin, Adam and Eve were separated from God in the Garden of Eden. And because of our sin, we are separated from God spiritually. The beginning of Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. And remember the Easter lesson? Death means separation. And there is nothing we can do to fix that problem, just like there was nothing Adam and Eve could do to fix their clothes problem. Their leaf clothes fell short, and our works fall short of saving us. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's like trying to jump the Grand Canyon using only your legs. You would fall short and fail. Oh, oh okay, but what does the animal show us? Well... The sacrifice of the animal to make clothes for Adam and Eve pictures the shedding of Christ's blood for our sin. Remember last week? Christ died on the cross to cover our sin, just like an animal was sacrificed to cover Adam and Eve's bodies. The Bible says 
that blood must be shed to pay the price for sin. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Isn't that good news? Isn't it great to know that even when we were sinners, even though we sinned, Christ loved us so much he died to pay our sin penalty? See, Christ died a cruel death on a cross to cover the payment for our sin, something we could not do ourselves, and it was definitely a gift we did not deserve. See, there's a great lesson to be learned from the first close. Sin has consequences. We can't fix our sin problem, only God can, and thankfully God sent his son Jesus to die for our sin just like the animal died to cover Adam and Eve. Ephesians 2, 8-9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Just as Adam and Eve needed God to cover them, we need God's grace to save us. Question is, have you trusted him as your savior? You can today. Ask your parents or you can even contact me and I will gladly show you how you can know for 100% sure that Christ is your savior and when you die, you will one day go to heaven. Hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you all soon. And remember, continue to worship God each and every day with your families. God bless.